In the book Clockwork Orange and in Stanley Kubrick's film of uh, the same name, uh, Alex is our, the character is our worst fear. He is uh, a public enemy. Um, he represents absolute depravity. Um, he has no moral compass. And uh, this character, I believe, is uh, created as a representation of that, of like all loss of moral compass. Um, and yes, it's true that perhaps he can be controlled in some way, but even in the film, there, um, the, the, the techniques that they use to brainwash him into becoming a behaved citizen in the end fail completely. Um, and that I believe is because they truly didn't get to the root of the matter of his depravity. Um, and I think that in Corinne Innes's work, um, you know, using uh, Alex as a representation of the police officer is very brilliant um, because at this time we are fearing uh, what we see and um, social media, people posting these um, iPhone videos um, we are able to create uh, or at least expose the many Alexes that a number uh, in, in, in our police forces across the country. And um, so this is a representation of fear being shared um, across social media platforms uh, and then uh, uh, then, of course, media itself, uh, news channels have to pick this up because we're all talking about it. And also, it's, it is right there. Uh, we love fear. That's another reason why you see these, these uh, videos going viral, because we love, we're, we're addicted. We fear it. We fear what can become of the violence, but we are addicted to it. And so um, perhaps many of our media outlets have... Um, have also had these blackouts where they haven't covered what's going on in the black communities, but you cannot say no to these graphic images. Um, and so Corinne has kind of taken this use of the graphic image to pull in the conversation in a way that uh, um, while it is very much in your face, um, it's also uh, uh, on, it's the work is also in the context of power, sex, and violence, and uh, things that come from there. Um, you know, um, so there's there's rape, um, there's um, violence that comes from people who who have the power who are carrying the guns um, and uh, these are things that we can all relate to it doesn't always uh, while she is using um, in you know what's been going on in a lot of our black communities um, this is a larger dialogue that she's having with all communities. Um, so just because something is uh, of a black subject matter doesn't mean it just specifically pertains to black culture. Um, and, and this is something that, you know, a, a methodology that um, is used uh, across cultures. So we have many examples of, of, of art uh, that comes from, uh, uh, you know, white artists or a white community, but we all understand it as a, the human experience. And this is no different. Um, the color of the skin here doesn't make a difference um, um, in, 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 in approach that this is about a wide, wider dialogue of um, how we've surrendered power uh, to our um, authorities and how it is being completely abused. Um, we also have, um, you know, the, we have uh, Alex himself, he's deranged. Um, we have officers whose behavior um, exhibits 
uh, the traces of trauma, of, 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 you know, their profiles fit that of a rapist um, in, in their behaviors. Um, and um, we have examples of an officer pinning down a 13-year-old little girl in a bathing suit, uh, his knee and her back in complete domination and control of her. Uh, this is an excessive use of force. And um, while I am not a psychologist to say exactly what this is, um, I think that it is, it is a clear um, example of, of perhaps even a, a PTSD syndrome of some sort, of uh, this excessive use of power to control a little young girl. Um, and we've been seeing this repetitively um, thanks to people recording video and posting it on social media and then the news being forced to tackle uh, what's very relevant. Um,